It is currently 6.30 a.m. and we are getting back to a routine. We are reading through Axe, as I mentioned in my last vlog. And Axe has been really, really good to me. I don't remember the last time I read it. It had to be like when I first got saved, but let's get into this daily bread, honey, because I'm hungry. What is a colonnade? Jeez, man. Peter was harsh. I say that back. He wasn't harsh. He was direct. Why is Terry trying to play you saying your name is Evangelia? You know, she always does try to play me. Yeah, I don't understand. Um, you busy? Mm-mm. Hey, what time is it? I have work in 20 minutes. Um, okay. We're going tonight at, after I get off work. I get off at 8. 8? Yeah, but I'm working from home, so. So Dang. yeah, you may not be able to go today because we're literally starting. When resting place starts. Yeah, when it starts, yeah. Go now. Yeah, I was, okay. Yeah. So y'all, I was waiting to, um, I'm talking to the vlog. This is a new character that's being unlocked. This is Eunice. Um, okay. The vlog. Oh, on your vlog? Yeah, I'm vlogging right now, but. Oh, Lord. I was okay. um gonna go to the gym today because I told y'all I'm getting back on my routine this week. I was gonna go to the gym today, but I was waiting um, to find out what time my friends were going. They're going like at the time that I go to my house of prayer. So, Period. I'm just gonna go after I eat this. Ooh, I just made a mess. Yeah, they're going at the time that I go to my house of prayer. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna just go. And then we'll go on Wednesday. Cause you can't go tomorrow evening. You have a life. Unless I go early in the morning, but I don't know if I'm trying to do that. So, okay, yeah, I was on the phone with Maddie, so now we gotta call Maddie back. Mm. What was I saying before I hung up? So, Maddie did one of the anonymous question things in um, yeah. the blog. They be acting like they, my, my friends be acting like they don't know who you are. I don't understand Are it. you talking to me? I'm talking to the blog. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. You are important. You are worthy, okay? So anyways, Maddie did the NGL anonymous question thing, and somebody asked, how to deal with sexual urges while seeking God. I'm trying to be celibate slash abstinent. I had sex a lot before my journey, so it's been hard fighting that temptation. And so Maddie told the uh, person I asked, oh, ask Evangelia, but if you want to stay anonymous, I'll type up a response. I'll have her type up a, res a response for you. So now I'm typing up a response for the girl. Okay. And better hurry up because the girls need, they need your response. Okay. Yeah, I'm typing out this response. So the thing is, I was just telling Maddie, remember last week when we were answering NGL questions? I actually got mad questions that I just didn't answer. And the reason is, I don't get, my friend Maddie, she be getting questions about her life because her life has been crazy, right? And she documents it on her story. Um, this is her Instagram. But 
people be asking me questions for my thought on things, opinion on things, advice on things. And it requires a more drawn out response. Like it requires a lot of typing, a lot of thinking. Like I'd be asking the Holy Spirit like, okay, which route do you want me to go? What do you want me to say? It's never just simple answering quick, quick about my life. I sometimes get questions like that actually, but recently it's been more advice and like drawn out uh, questions that have drawn out answers. And so, that's why I didn't answer them last week. I was just like, dang, this is going to be a lot of typing. Exhibit freaking A, the question I got about abstaining from sex, it's not just a simple answer. And so I'm typing all of this out and I literally have to outline like things that um, the Holy Spirit is bringing to my mind so that I don't forget to put it in the answer. I'm finished typing this out and then I'm going to um, read it out to you guys. You know what? I'm just going to make this a video. See y'all at the gym. <laughs> in an effort to get back into my routine, I'm going to start reading again. I used to read like pretty often, like every day. I was really into reading, reading books, reading my Bible, going to the gym, all of it. So I'm going to pick a book out of our little at-home library to read. The only thing <coughs> is, the only thing is, I just don't know which book to read. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some ones that are piquing my interest and do an Instagram poll. So I'll let you guys know tonight what the Instagram poll says. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my gosh. I found, oh hold on. It's not focused. I found a friend because I didn't want to go alone. That's right, that's right. Get it on camera. We just finished on the elliptical. For my cardio, I typically like doing the elliptical because it, it don't hurt your knees. Um, today's back day though. Oh, new character unlocked. This is Remy. Hi guys. <laughs> okay. My goal, I honestly don't know if I want to do, I low key want to do back like multiple times a week. Because your girl got back rolls this way. Um, that would also include things for the waist. Yes. I have like bad back clothes. I'm thinking, so my birthday is a Friday this year and my favorite skating rink has like adult skate on Friday nights. So I'm thinking maybe I can do that. And I can invite everybody. The only thing is when you do like a birthday party, they be giving pizza, so I don't want, I don't want that. I just want my friends to come skating with me. Yeah, we're just a big group here to skate. Yeah, but it's also from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to stay that long, though. I feel like at that point, everyone just come on time. Like, come on time. Might as well just do the paint and sip, right? Because everybody could go home and sleep after. Because we still deal with med school students. Most of my friends are in med school, unfortunately. And some of For me. Are just old people. <coughs> this is right here. This is grandma. Well, hold on, let's autofocus this. Because this is grandma number one. Happy Monday. When I called her, so I got to the gym and I realized, oh, I don't want to go to the gym by myself. So I FaceTimed her to come meet me here. Why is auntie in bed with a bonnet on? We don't finish. We don't finish. Wait, is our stuff here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we finished with our workout, friends. In great, great pain. Like, I'm in pain. Emotionally down come. <laughs> Don't be fooled, y'all. This is food. Meanwhile, <laughs> if, I, if I'll stop playing around, <laughs> that's literally me. I used to just have muscle. Yo, I forgot who I was talking to, and they did this to me the other day, and oh, they were like, they do that to you? I, "But even me, I was shocked because I was like, wow, I, I do but that." But you used to be bigger. I was. So during the pandemic. The way my weight fluctuates is actually insane. Yeah. Because when I first came into college. Remember when you did that fast? Oh, God. Yeah. I said you I was like a stick. No, y'all. I'm going to put a picture. You just, I was like, like the number one. That's how slim I was. I think at some point, like. I remember it was so obvious that people would come up to me and be like, did you just finish a fast? Truth is, yes. Truth is, also, I don't appreciate that question. 
But mind you, I was eating on that path. Like I was eating meals like every day. It was just no, it was no red meat, no mm. chicken, no sugary drinks, no sugary foods. That's what I was doing. That, so it was primarily like naked water. It was like a pescatarian mm. diet. <clears throat> yeah, but at least that gives you an idea of like what can get you to. What can get me to slim down? Yeah. It's just I also refuse to give it up. Red meat is my weakness, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I've been able to let go of red meat. It's really the sugary drinks. Oh yeah. Pass me a ginger beer every day of the week, okay? All of it, all the above for me. I'll use salmon every day, but I'm gonna have my I don't even like drink. salmon. I've seen too many TikToks where like the salmon, like they have like parasites on them. I see. And, like the, like the worms be crawling on the salmon. How do you? How do you clean salmon? I actually don't know because I don't eat it. Uh, when I say salmon, like I'm, I fear salmon. Dang, it's cold. Yeah. You know what? Because we had some kind of cool off. That's why. Okay, girl. Love you. Love you. Oh, nah. I'll call y'all when I get home. Bye. Guys, look, it's my two favorite worship leaders. Oh my this is God. You're really doing right this right here. Now? And then this is <laughs> Yeah, I love them both. They're both amazing worship you. leaders. Yeah. Oh wow, live recording? Live recording. That's what famous people do. Isn't that amazing? I mean, come on. Can you know, you I thought I knew. I was like, March 1st, she's going to drop it. But no, you decide to announce that you're doing a live recording. Which I think is really exciting. I think it's I'm fire. Here, really yeah, like when I cut my hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Job, they say, get out. Get out. Y'all, I came to church and we literally ended an hour early because it's pouring outside. But like, not like rain, it's snowing. And I need to leave, otherwise my car's gonna get covered again because my husband brushed it off and he's leaving. So yeah. Look guys, oh my gosh. This is awful, the roads are terrible. Look at my shoes. I did not dress appropriately for this. Oh my gosh. Today is meant to be 34, 34 degrees with a high of 39. Good morning vlog. It is currently 7.12 a.m. and I'm supposed to be up by 6.30 and I'm late but it's actually not my fault. My husband was shutting off my alarm. He took my phone and my alarm went off at 6.30. He just shut it off immediately. And so I woke up, I think when it snoozed the second or third time around. Um, so around like, seven, no, around 6.50, yeah. I woke up when it snoozed, so like probably the second time around. And I saw him about to shut it off. And I got him. But yeah, I'm late this morning. Not my fault though. And it is very nasty and icky outside. There's like snow everywhere. I really hate that for me. What does that mean? That means you're staying home. I have plans to go to Jersey City today, but it's just a now. I'm going to go read my Bible, read a book, make breakfast, 
and then go to the gym downstairs because I'm not leaving here. It's too cold for that. told y'all this but today i'm watching jesus revolution with um my community from the house of prayer that i go to so i'm really really excited because one of my other friends watched it and he said the movie was good and i trust his uh his opinion when it comes to movies but yeah i'm running a little bit late as per usual but i just found parking I cannot park for my life. I hate going to new places by myself because I'm very directionally challenged. So I always end up lost. And then when I'm taking y'all with me, people be looking at me like I got five heads talking to a camera, but they don't know that I'm not talking to a camera. I'm talking to you guys. Where's the entrance? Okay. We're at the movies, guys. I'm excited. Ooh, let me know if you've watched Jesus Revolution. And if you have, let me know your thoughts. Ooh, Lord, I forgot to fix my wig. Okay. I gotta go. Nirta, how was the movie? It was phenomenal. I can't even. Landy, how was the movie? Amazing. <laughs> Literally amazing. Yeah. It's like real life, you know? Yeah. Like the plot twist, we're like, where's the plot twist? And it's like, these things are messy. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. Revival is Jesus, messy. Anything, Revival is so messy. And you think, oh my gosh, everything's gonna be perfect now, but it's like, you got real people with real emotions, real feelings. Yeah. Just looking to the right thing and yeah. following Jesus. And sometimes it's messy. Yeah. But at the end of it, God is good. Yes, He and is. He comes through. Yeah. And He's worthy to be praised. And this movie shows that 100%. Yeah. Amen. Yo, Landy was smart. Oh, she had a preach. Yeah, she was smart. <laughs> she had. <laughs> Baby, how was the movie? It's great. Inspiring. It's amazing. <laughs> Evangelia, how was the movie? It was amazing. There were multiple times where I wanted to cry, but I didn't because Elijah would laugh at me. But it was so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they showed some of the negative stuff too. Because... Yeah. Oh, wait, I want a slushie. Can you take my straw? Would you want the youth to see this? Definitely. Yeah. Hey, man. But I, honestly, I'll just wait until it comes out because I try to. Oh, maybe I can mobilize this for if we don't do the basketball thing. Uh, uh what basketball thing? Like oh, March Madness. Ethics. Yeah. Where did you park? Uh, down here. Where'd you park? Yeah, down. Here. I asked y'all on Instagram which book I should read, and you guys chose misreading scriptures with Western eyes. It was between that and Screw Tape Letters, and if I wasn't already reading another book i would read both of them at the same time but i'm reading this other book with elijah called marriage triggers which is a great book i recommend it for everyone uh, well everyone married <laughs> um but yeah if i wasn't reading that i would read the the um screw tape letters and misreading uh, scriptures with western, western eyes together so i'm just gonna pick this one up and we're gonna read tonight also this is my plant phyllis um I really want to have a green thumb like so badly do I want to have a green thumb but I don't know what it is I just kill plants Phyllis did not last a month y'all I got Phyllis and Phyllis died but I keep her because I don't know I just have hope 
but Gladys, my Monstera, she's doing well, or she's surviving. Let me not even say she's thriving or doing well, she's surviving. <sighs> Let's go read. I raise a Told you that this is the week that I'm getting back into my routines and like you know actually adding structure back into my life and so the time is currently what time is it 6 53 and I am on my way to the gym to go meet up with my friends part of the routines that I'm like or part of the things that I'm trying to get back into or the routine that I'm trying to get back to is waking up at 6 30 like going to the gym, reading my Bible, and getting ready, essentially. Those are my four staples of my morning. Um, and we've been doing pretty good. But then also habits to improve my life are reading, which I used to do a lot more of. And so I'm restarting again, like y'all saw last night, and I read Misreading Scriptures with Western Eyes. I started it. Child, that book is so good. I, I'm like a, a learner, like I like to learn things. And so when I read something that blows my mind or like about the Bible, I like to learn things about the Bible specifically. So when I read things that I don't know about the Bible in terms of like cultural context, I've been wanting to share with the whole entire world. So now Elijah has to deal with my, my nerdy rambles. <laughs> Oh, I didn't feel like it. I think. <laughs> but I saw her. Yeah, she's still. Yeah, you didn't go. Where's your girls in that series? We had a sleepover, so the plan was to go to the gym before the sleepover actually happened. We did. Yeah. My friend. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, us too. But it started snowing, and then after that, we got lazy. And so then the next I day, we gotta go in the morning. And then, well, we couldn't because we all were working, unless we went by ourselves. But then. Um, the next day, Tuesday, we again. It's bad. Y'all, I'm in pain, emotionally downcast. Is that your last set? No. No, you have one more, right? One more leg? Yeah. So hmm. why are you recording? Because I gotta record the fact that I'm in vain. She's not tired. No, I am. Look at the sweat on my upper lip. Even on my nose. Okay. Oh God. Guys, this is Eunice. Who's good, y'all? I didn't mean to, I'm ho I was holding my AirPod. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Dang, you can't put that in there. You can't post that. It's quad and glute day. Wow, Eunice is going, guys. Strong girl. Ow. Let's watch Eunice. Wow. 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 Four more big body. Wow. Wow. Two more. Wow. Last one, last one, last one. Wow. Oh, she going. How many are you doing? Ten. Oh. Big body for real. Eunice, let's look at you. Huh? Yeah, big body for real. <laughs> hey, bye, Eunice. Say bye. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go home and read my Bible. I know, I know, I know. I haven't vlogged since yesterday morning, but I spent yesterday um, kind of just 
editing and then working on a digital bible that i'm making i kind of was spending time with god i think on monday or tuesday and then i was like no it was tuesday and i was looking for a digital nlt bible and i couldn't find one and i was like you know what i'm gonna make one so bless you baby so that's what i've been working on and then editing the vlog and oh i went to my sister's house and i hung out with her but today we're gonna i went to the gym first of all remember how i told y'all that i was trying the la fitness classes because i i went to a new gym i hate the la fitness classes i tried pilates this morning zero out of ten do not recommend i will not be back um but yeah i went there this morning i'm super sore from yesterday literally legs quivering like my i'm so tight but I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop that I saw on TikTok and I was like, you know what? Why not? If not, if I don't go, I'll literally just be at home by myself. And so let's romanticize life a little bit. So I'm going to the coffee shop and then I'm going to my grandma's house, even though my grandma's not there. She lives in Ghana now. But I'm gonna go see my cousin and pick up my tax documents. We already know my tax situation. Moment of silence. Okay. Um, and then what am I doing, baby? What are we doing tonight? Nothing. Oh, yeah. And then you I'm pack. packing. Because you're leaving me. I'm you're leaving. Here. Oh, baby. Do you want to be on the vlog? No. Okay. I'm on the vlog, though. Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> I'm leaving him. Yes, you are. For 12 days. Because you hate me. I don't hate you. I am going to miss you, though. You better. Good. I'm surprised you let me kiss you. I had pico guac and hints of lime tostitos. He hates how it smells. <laughs> this man, <laughs> he's always like, go brush your teeth before you kiss me. <laughs> he thinks I like to eat stuff that stinks. But I just, onions and garlic make things taste better. And if you don't agree, then I'm genuinely concerned. And I don't think I want to try your food. When I she make a burger. A, she <laughs> ate an onion like, it, like she was a part of the movie Holes. And if you don't know that, you had no childhood. <laughs> she was just munching on the onion. Like I was, was not munching apple. on yes, the she onion. Were. You ate the onion like it was an apple. It was one of the most I put <laughs> traumatizing things I've ever experienced. And I've experienced some things. I like onions. I really, really like onions. I know. And so I made a burger and I put the onions on the burger. But I wanted more. And so I just kept adding more onions. Or I'll take a bite of burger and eat like some onion. Anyways. Um, oh, and also when I make spaghetti, I be adding mad garlic. Mad garlic. So he's always telling me to brush my teeth before I could kiss him. Mm -hmm. Baby, feels real love. You would you would kiss me even if my breath stank. Well, baby, kiss know, me. I guess you know what we got. Baby, kiss me. We got the real love. Baby, <laughs> baby, kiss me. Mwah. <laughs> I really don't know what they want me to do with this. Yeah, that was really sad though. Y'all know I got, hold on, let's talk about this. Ah! Y'all know I got laid off, right? I got laid off January 18th. Why did they send me <laughs> a happy one year anniversary box? Seven. I feel like they sent this to me this week and we've already discussed it, but I've just left the box on my island and every time I look at it, I'm just amazed. Like, that's not insensitive? I feel like that's insensitive. <laughs> Alexa, play Breathe by Jonathan McReynolds. Breathe, featuring Chandler Man, Jonathan McReynolds, Bill and Mark City Gospel Choir, studio version by Maverick City Music from Spotify. by Jesus Image from Spotify. Now we are ascending. Jesus, I hear 
and similar songs on Amazon Music. This is my lunch. A burger with lettuce and onion and ketchup and extra ketchup on the side because I love me some ketchup and fried plantains. If you don't like, what in the world? I look like a middle schooler. <laughs> if you don't like sweet fried plantains, I'm praying for your deliverance. Yeah. So as I sit here at my grandma's house waiting for my cousin to get here, I just watched this interview that this amazing woman of God that I have the beautiful opportunity of knowing and being in relationship with um, just did with the 700 Club about Black Voices Movement, which is actually why I'm traveling tomorrow. Um, but I watched the interview and man, it just got me so stirred. I literally was in this car like just stirred, like like just ready to pray, like literally just, yeah, that I, it just got me so stirred. But I'm on here talking to y'all because it got me stirred about complacency, about the fact that we have good news. And my question is, how often do we share it? You know, because when I get good news, I be wanting to call everybody. I call Elijah. I call my mother. I call my brother. I call my dad. I call my best friend. I call my friends. I tell the group chat. When I have good news, I be shouting it from the mountaintops. And I just wonder with Christianity, like, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. But why? When we as God's children know that the news is good, know that it needs to be shared, why aren't we sharing it as often and frequently as we should be, as we could be? 
Is it like the world's perception of Christianity about how uh, Christians are Bible beaters or shoving Jesus down your throat or are so intolerant of other religions and think their religion is the best? Like, what is it? This is my question to y'all. What is it that keeps y'all from sharing the good news with people you meet? Your family, your friends, just on the streets? Like, if Holy Spirit told you in walmart go share the good news with the cashier at um lane nine would you do it because i don't know if i would i would probably talk myself out of it but you know what i just rebuke social anxiety that would try to lord itself over holy spirit and try to lord itself over the agenda of the great commission because we're meant to go out and make disciples of all nations but you can't make a disciple if they don't know the gospel we need to share the gospel i pray that we all come out of complacent christianity and comfortable christianity and I pray that we have a greater revelation of the gospel and the fact that it's good news and that we would share it to all who would listen and even those who wouldn't listen. Uh, like, child, open air preach. <laughs> One of my friends, Carlton, did it. Um, I think it was at NCAT. I don't remember what university it was at, but he open air preached and he did it in a student center, a three floor student center. Literally grabbed a speaker and a mic and shared the gospel. And they were telling him like yo you need to pack it up you don't have a permit to be here you're not allowed to be here pack up your stuff and you, you need to stop what you're doing and he literally just made a preach the gospel real quick and made a quick call for salvation students came flooding from all three levels to where him and the black voices team was so they don't gotta know that they're ready to listen like just share the gospel no more complacent christianity for us y'all we're sharing the gospel all 2023 period man and this isn't even what i wanted to talk about this week on the vlog i wanted to talk about um hypocrisy but this is good too <laughs> all right y'all go pray or something like just pause the vlog and go pray because i'm literally about to have a conversation with holy spirit right now and i feel like you should too mm-hmm My cousin's here, y'all. I'm really only here to get my, ow, I'm so sore. My tax documents and stuff, but. Say hi to my cousin. She's a nurse, y'all. Shorty passed her NCLEX in January. You got too many meals just coming in. I from know. You know, Elijah said I should go to the post office and like do a change of address. Yeah, do it, please. I got mad stuff coming here. <laughs> The macarons are nasty. There's just something weird about it that I don't like. But tiramisu will never steal me, steer me wrong.
this. It is so adorable. I feel like I'm living such an aesthetic life when I go in there. It was my first time there. I'm so happy that I saw it on TikTok and I actually went. Um, now, about my car. I pray that I don't have a ticket and I pray that my car is still there because I don't know if I'm actually allowed to park where I parked. But the thing is, I couldn't find parking anywhere so I figured, you know what? Let's just send it, let's do it. Let's see if I regret my actions. Oh look, Leal is still there. See how the Lord is kind. Keeping my car in perfect peace. Oh wait, let's make sure I don't have a ticket. And no ticket? Praise God. Uh, now I gotta go home to pack. I also just realized, well I realized two things. One, I haven't checked in yet. But two, I have to check a bag because I'm gonna be gone for like a solid two weeks. So next week's weekly vlog is gonna be in Atlanta. Well, not Atlanta, in Georgia. Um, it's gonna be in Georgia, which I'm excited about because I love, which I'm excited about because I love being home. Um, but I have a lot to do when I go there. So I need to check a bag because I need outfits and my skincare and my makeup. Mm. Yeah. So let's see how this packing situation looks like when I get home. a.m. and I should have packed last night but I ate and then I got the itis and then my husband came home and I was like oh let's cuddle and watch TV and I fell asleep now the thing is he has the prayer call to do for our church this morning meaning he had to be up at 5 30 but he don't wake up early so I had to be up by 5 5 30 to make sure he was up Uh, he's praying 6 a.m. prayer call but I said that I would be finished packing by the time he is done praying and that's only a 30 minute prayer call he doesn't believe that I can do it he was right I couldn't do it so now it's a competition I'm always saying this but I literally have no clothes so I kind of did like this big shopping spree I think I already told you guys but I did a shopping spree because I have nothing and it all arrives while I'm in Georgia and I'm just so devastated about it because that means I have to be in Georgia with no outfits to anything like I have a lot of stuff to do and places to go and no outfits for it and I really hate that for me so I'm contemplating having Elijah mail it to me once it gets here because it gets here on Monday and if he mails it on Tuesday Express I get it on Wednesday and then I have outfits it's no point it's a point it's no point I just I might as well just go to the mall and get something right yeah okay glad we came to that conclusion This is a shirt I can wear with something. What I really can't believe is the fact that I'm up at six doing this. Because I didn't do it last night. Go me. This smells so good. 
Smells like my perfume. Surely do, mighty God. That was good, baby. My flight takes off at 12:01. It's currently 10:48, and I'm probably about five minutes, or maybe like two or three minutes, from the airport. And I still have to check a bag, um, and go through security. And Newark Airport security sometimes be like horrendous. I've missed a flight because of it before. That and Atlanta um, airport security. Both of them are booty. So we'll see if I make this flight or not. Yeah, I was in a meeting. I couldn't pick up. When did he? Who did this? Daddy. Daddy did that. Today? Yes. Because I'm coming home? No. He said he did that because he doesn't want us to cook at that time. So Daddy that. is funny. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Don't do that again. <laughs> Sorry. Don't do And I said, so I told Daddy. Oh, mommy, who disappoints about No, I'm here. And I said, I'm dead. Daddy! Daddy! It's my daddy. <laughs> empty guys this is my room okay i never had that blue thingy they put that on there because i'm coming home but my room is so bare now because i took everything and moved i'm thinking i should take these curtains back with me and use them for i don't know what i would use them for 
but I miss these windows. We live in a cul-de-sac and my room has the best lighting. Like I get golden hour on a regular. In my bathroom. Oh, I miss this place. Ready? You sleep? Alexa, good morning. Why would you do that? Why is she on punishment? <laughs> what? Get this camera out of here. No, get it out of my face. <laughs> uh. Guys, this is my brother. New character unlocked. Uh. I miss you. Thanks. I mean, I miss you too. <laughs> I brought. I bought some. Um, I bought some pastries. Ooh, what pastries? I don't know. You can get get them from the kitchen. Ooh. Yeah. Really what are these? Planning on eating them. Chocolate maple pecan. And almond. What are they though? It's, it's good. We got ice cream. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice. I'm sure it is. I'll eat strawberries with you. <laughs> mm, That's what I do when I fast. I'll be preparing the food though, like in the microwave at 11.58 or 11 59 Then as soon as it hits 12, first bite in my mouth. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, I like my strawberries almost spoiled because then they're softer and sweeter like this y'all see how it's red and kind of softish that's how I know it's about to be good oh my thing <laughs> mm, my friend at work you're not supposed to talk during mukbang. Oh, really? I no, you can. No, you can't talk. It's ASMR is that you can't talk. But your friend at work, what? <laughs> Are we ready for the grape? Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, try again. Try again. Oh, wait, you know that was good. What's your least favorite fruit? Pineapples. No, apples. Good choice. I think apples are really ridiculous. The green apples are good. No, apples and tomatoes are my least favorite fruit. I think um, tomatoes are gross. Tomatoes are still vegetables. No. Okay, well then that's my least favorite. Okay, and I know you oranges. Said that. Oranges. Disgusting. Anything orange, orange flavored drinks. Even Ghana oranges? Hate them. What? Yeah. Yeah. The one where they peel the skin and they'll peel the top and they'll. I mean. Hey. Yeah. Even, do you like your so much oranges? Oh, even worse. What? Ugh, I ate those once. Yes, Moja oranges are a hybrid of, they're called blood oranges. They mm -hmm. call them Jesus' blood. I think it's a hybrid of watermelon and oranges. Or am, am I making stuff up? I think that's what it is. 
but I love them. They're so good. And you don't like it? I just want some food, bro. You're eating food. If you don't sit up. <laughs> Come in. Talk about covenants and stuff. Here comes the grape. Oh, let's do it together. Come on. Okay. One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> let's whisper for the rest of the conversation. Okay. That was a great one. Where do I look? You ripping off the skin? Yo, I was telling. Oh, I it's okay. So I was telling somebody recently that I like cutting my grapes and I have to eat them. Y'all see the way that I eat my favorite snack: strawberries, grapes, and almonds. And I cut the grapes in half. Somebody asked me why I do it, and it's I told them that I hate grapes with skin on it. So when I cut it in half. He who sits in heaven loves. No. He who sits in heaven loves. No. Those who sit in heaven laugh. I sit in heaven so I laugh. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Yo, I heard that song today. <laughs> From where? And it's so good. It was in the in the sermon. And then let me let me just play the sit in heaven part. Hello. Are you sitting down? Yeah. Where? Bottle and they made me take it to the car. I guess they thought what it was alcohol in it. Like a water? My Stanley bottle. A water bottle? Yeah. Mm. Hi, friends. Welcome to Ike's Cafe and Grill. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. 
while lighting. Um, there's this place in Atlanta that I want to go to. Where? It's called your third spot or something like that. You heard of it? It's apparently like a vibe. Let's try it too. Y'all. Yeah. Ike's Cafe and Grill Suya. Top freaking tier. Wow. Right here. This is where it's at. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Send it to me because I'm not taking a video. What? Okay. Oh, well, that didn't work out like how we thought. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Killing me with this fat, but I'm gonna let them live. Oh. It's too good. Maddie got banga soup or palm nut soup as we Ghanaians call it. And I got killer really. Look at this. Look at this mess. Shorty is eating pounded yam and palm nut soup with a spoon. A fork. A fork, not even a spoon. Are you chewing it too? Yeah. Drench it in soup and then swallow. Never. Try. That's why it's called swallow. Yeah. So I, so I, so I, so I, so I, so I, Oh, it's louder out here. I was about to say, it's like a beacon. So. Oh, you parked over there? Yeah. Love you. Love you. See you mañana. Hasta luego. Well, vlog, I'm home. It's Friday night. I'm getting ready to read my biblet and edit this vlog so that I can post it on Sunday. Um, it's been a great week with you guys and I can't wait to see you next week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!